All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. In this video, we're gonna talk about something that seems just a little bit hypocritical out of Gervonta Davis's camp, and it relates to a fight with Tiafimo Lopez. Leonard Ellerby gives his thoughts on what he, why he says that fight with Tiafimo Lopez cannot happen. Uh, let's do that in this video. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to talk about, once again, the lightweight division and, and specifically uh, three fighters. We're going to talk about Gervonta Davis, who is the cash cow at 135 pounds. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez, who is the be major belt holder at 135 pounds. And Devin Haney, who is the WBC champion at 130 pound, 135 pounds. We all want to see a big fight between these guys. Um, and Leonard Ellerby, both, actually both Leonard Ellerby and Bob Arum were interviewed yesterday. I think yesterday was the interview for Bob Arum. The day before that was the interview that took place with Leonard Ellerby where they discussed this. And at the end of all the conversations, and I will go through them, uh, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, it's going to be a long haul in order to make this fight happen. Leonard Ellerby straight up said that it's, as, as it stands right now, that fight is not going to happen. Um, and he said it because of the, and I'll give you the reason that he gave. Bob Aaron, for his part, said that he was going to reach out to Floyd Mayweather Jr. to talk about the Tiafimo Lopez, Gervonta Davis fight. However, uh, with the tone of Leonard Ellerby, I think he might be able to save that call. Now, this is, this is why Leonard Ellerby says that the fight, cannot, the fight cannot happen at this stage. And it is that neither Tiafimo Lopez nor Devin Haney have proven that they are draws in the sport of boxing. And um, more importantly than that, that, that Mayweather Promotions is not in the business of losing money on fights. And he asked the question, rhetorical question, obviously, how much money do you think Tiafimo Lopez is going to be asking for to fight Gervonta Tang Davis? He said, if the guy is currently getting whatever he's getting, I forget, he said like $2 million or whatever. Uh, if he said if they're going to, he said, whatever they're making now, they're going to want to make more money for that than that for fighting Gervonta Davis, but that they haven't actually proven that they could actually bring in the money and, and the, or have the value to increase the value of the fight. Now, what he says is like, for example, you have Gervonta Davis and he says, Gervonta Davis speaking to the guy that was in, doing the interview said, look, man, Gervonta Davis can sell out the LA, LA um, stadium fighting you. So why would he, you know, knowing that he can do that and he's making a rough, you know, over $3 million a fight, why would he then have the same fight with Tiafimo Lopez in an environment where he could already sell out not sure, not sure if Tiafimo Lopez is going to bring anything extra to the table. Fight him, pay him that extra money, and there you go. We're losing money because, look, man, you know, it's the, st it's the statement that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is famous for saying boxing is a business. He also points out the same thing with, with Devin Haney and says that, you know, Devin Haney's making a lot of money over there with the zone. But, he, but if you read between the lines, he's pretty much saying that Eddie Hearn was it, actually, you don't have to read b between the lines. He said, look, man, we're not in the business like Eddie Hearn is of throwing around other people's money. Um, Devin Haney got the contract is paying him all that money uh, during the time frame when the zone was coming into the U.S. market. And they were offering a lot of money to people, you know, overpaying fighters to fight on their network. Devin Haney took advantage of that, got a, got a, got a deal, got a, uh, got a, I'm not sure if it's a fight by fight deal. I don't know what his deal is exactly. However, he's been fighting on the zone for several fights and getting, you know, a, more than $2 million a fight uh, on the zone for over four fights. So, you know, clearly, you know, Devin Haney is making a lot of money. But what Leonard Ellerby is pointing out is the Ye is making a lot of money, but that network is also losing a lot of money. So they're not making the money back. They're not making the money back off of Devin Haney that they're paying Devin Haney. That is pretty much a loss for the zone for the zone boxing. Um, also, as far as Tiafimo Lopez goes, he's pretty much saying, like, look, man, Tiafimo Lopez was fighting George Cambosis. 
And he said he did his due. This is Leonard Ellerby speaking. Said, I look, man, I did my due diligence when uh, when Tiafimo Lopez was bragging and boasting and talking about how he was going to move Floyd Mayweather Jr. off his date um, because he was fighting uh, George Cambosis, right? Which is, and I do agree with Leonard Ellerby in this regard, which sounded absolutely ridiculous. But he said he did, he, Leonard Ellerby, did his research on it and found out that they were in a 36,000 seat arena. And they had only sold out, they'd only sold like 1,800 tickets leading, you know, the week of the fight. So it's like, dude, how big a star are you really when you've never proven that in the seats that you've actually sold, right? Um, and that makes a lot of sense. Now, I know that that fight is not going to happen, but uh, in, these two fights are not going to happen. But, you know, my my only response to, to Leonard Ellerby, right, where's where I'm saying, look, man, that how about, you know, if, if Gervonta Davis is, you know, the big cash cow, right? Which I know that he is, okay? Without, when Leonard Ellerby says that Gervonta Davis is, is a bigger name and selling more selling more seats and all that, other than, you know, more than anybody in boxing with the, who is other than Canelo Alvarez and Errol Spence Jr., I believe that to be the truth. Tyson Fury over there in the UK uh, included because of the price of their tickets and the pay-per-views. And plus, he was on there with Deontay Wilder. We'll see what Tyson Fury can do in the United States, over there in the UK. But definitely within the United States, it is number one, Canelo Alvarez. Number two, Errol Smith Jr. Number three, Gervonta Davis. And Gervonta Davis is consistent, consistently selling out arenas wherever he goes. So um, the question is, though, that if that is the case, why not make an offer to Tiafimo Lopez or have Tiafimo Lopez make an offer to you and say, okay, if you really want to fight, you know, you're going to have to fight for this much. And if you don't fight for this much, then we're not going to have that fight, right? You know, that's where I would say, you know, if you took that one step further. Now, in <laughs> I'm sure what the retort of Leonard Ellery would be, we'd be like, come on, man, that's a waste of time. I already know that they're not going to take that. They already know that they're not going to take it because those guys are already massively overpaid. They're massively, massively overpaid. So we don't really want to waste our time with that, right? I can understand that. However, at a certain point in time, man, I'm going to tell you, at least I, I believe this. I can't say it is for true that it's going to that, that this is it. This is going to be this way for Geronte Davis for certain, because there are certain fighters that can get away with doing whatever they want to do uh, and not fighting the best competition. Canelo Alvarez is obviously one of those. Uh, Toro Gotti could sell out in, in um, Atlantic City without necessarily fighting the best people. He just had a really good fan base. You know, so maybe Gervonta Davis will have this fan base that's just going to follow him and support him no matter what. But I would hope a little bit more of boxing fans and say at a certain point in time, you know, he's going to have to fight one of these guys, you know, if nothing else for legacy, right? Because for for talking to Leonard Ellerby or listening to Eller, Leonard Ellerby, I'm, I understand the role of the person that I'm speaking to. He is in the business of boxing and those guys are in the business of making money and he is not being dishonest about it. He is being 100% straightforward about it. However, there is another side of boxing besides how much money the promoter makes and that's how much the, the fight fans are actually getting out of the fight. And my argument is at a certain point in time, you have to take a chance with Gervonta Davis to see if you can get that how you can get go further than where you are right now because Gervonta Davis may be the third number the number three best you know known fighter or biggest selling fighter behind Errol Spence and Canelo Alvarez but he is number three he's not number two <laughs> and number two I can speak for sure for number two and I do believe for number one number one as well during the early part of his career not as much now but during the early part of Canelo Alvarez career he was having big matchups against people that were difficult matchups Errol Spence Jr during this whole strap season thing, keeps doing it. So, you know, hopefully Gervonta Davis will get to the point where he starts doing that as well. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. I definitely see where, where um, Leonard Ellerby is coming from. Um, but as a fight fan, you know, I, I certainly hope that, 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 you know, that, that these guys can work something out eventually. De whether it's Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez uh, now, or they wind up going up to 140 and 147, and these other guys like Oscar Valdez, Shakur Stevenson, and the guys from 130 come up, Vasily Lomachenko, would love to see some of these fights. But that's my take on the matter. Please, in the comment section, leave your comments and let me know what you think. Also, share the video. Make sure you hit that like button. And with that, I'm out. Peace.